Morning legend, Coach Neil from Black Dog Coaching. And coming to you with, let's call it what it is I suppose, let's call it a fucking rant. So Black Dog, uh, Black Dog Coaching, formerly Black Dog Brotherhood, has been running for about 18 months now. And obviously for the largest part of that, um, it was coaching men. We've only recently opened up Black Dog Sisterhood. So for most of that 18 months, it has been uh, Black Dog Coaching, coaching uh, men. Recently, about a month ago, we opened up Black Dog Sisterhood and it's actually filling up really quickly. So I'm seeing uh, two sides of humanity, really. For 18 months, um, dealing with men, coaching, you know, fitness and nutrition, but obviously also trying to fix lifestyle choices and habits and routines to help support positive mental health. I'm going to break this into two parts. I'm going to do the male side of it first and then I'm going to do the female side of it. And I'm going to say this up front. Some of you aren't going to like what I have to say, and I don't give a fuck, to be honest, because if this is you, you really need to sort your fucking shit out because you're a disgrace to humanity. From the men's perspective, all right, so coaching men, day in and day out for the last 18 months, I have seen men hurting, I've seen men crying, I've seen men who are ready to kill themselves because their partner won't let them see their kids, and they use the kids as pawns in a relationship to either extract more coin from the husband or ex-husband or simply to fuck them over as much as they possibly can. And I've seen this day in and day out, not just isolated cases. And ladies, if you're watching this, don't worry, I'm going to get to the other side of the coin very shortly because uh, there's some men out there who are just as fucking despicable. But from the male side of it, I've seen men at the point of suicide because they can't see their own kids. All they want to do is see their kids. I've seen men hit the point of complete and utter bankruptcy because they've been taken for absolutely everything in what should be, in my opinion, a 50-50 split. If a relationship's gone down the toilet, you need to move forward. You've both still got lives to live. Split 50-50, put the kids first if there's kids involved. Always, always, always put the fucking kids first and don't use them as pawns. So for the women, if you are a woman who manipulates your ex-partner and uses your kids, fucking stop it. It's despicable and the only one you're hurting is the fucking kids. Now, let's flip this on the other side of it. Black Dog Sisterhood's been open for about a month now and where there's a lot of women jump in very quickly, which is really, really good to see. But what it's done for me is I'm now seeing the other side of the coin. I am seeing women who are victims of physical abuse, women who are victims of sexual abuse, women who are in domestic violence relationships, not necessarily physical or sexual violence, but controlling controlling the finances, controlling who they can talk to, controlling what they can do. So if you're a man and you are watching this and you control your fucking partner, you're not a man at all. You're a fucking piece of shit, all right? At the end of the day, I am so fucking sick of this fucking battle of the sexes. Somewhere along the line, it's gone from a battle of the sexes to this war of sexes. Here's the fucking truth of it, okay? Men are good at some things. Women are good at some things. Men are fucking shit at some things. Women are fucking shit at some things. At the end of the day, none of us are fucking perfect. If you are going to be in a relationship, ask yourself this. Are you in the relationship to fill a hole in your life or to patch up a fucking broken part of your life? Or are you in the relationship to make somebody else's life better? Because depending on how you answer that, it's pretty much going to determine how you treat the other person in your life. If you're in a relationship and you don't live to make that person happy, you don't live to make that person complete, it's not a real relationship. You're simply fucking patching a hole inside of yourself. You're trying to fill your jug from an external source. If you're in a relationship because you're scared to be alone, that is not the right reason to be in a relationship. If you're scared to be alone, that's something you need to look at. And the only way to fix that is to be alone and work on yourself until you are a complete and whole person. And that doesn't matter if you're a fucking man or a woman. If you are in a domestic violence relationship, and this is for men and women, because I have seen both sides of the coin, if you have a partner, I'm not going to say a husband or a wife, if you have a partner who controls the finances and tells you what you can and can't spend money on, if you have a partner who tells you when you are allowed to go out with your friends and fucking demands to know where you are at all times, that shit's not on. That's fucking domestic violence, no matter which way you fucking skin it, no matter which way you look at it. So I don't care if you're a man or a woman. If that's you, you're a piece of shit and you need to sort your life out. And that goes either way. I think that's it. That's the end of my rant, all right? It goes both ways and we all need to fucking take a step back and look at the bigger picture. Men, it is never, ever, 
ever fucking okay to hit a woman, to make sexual advances on her if she has clearly said no. And that, and that includes if you're fucking married. Rape in marriage is a very fucking real thing. And you can be fucking sentenced for it. If a woman says no, it means no. If you are married, that doesn't mean you own that fucking woman. If you're in a relationship with it, it doesn't mean you fucking own her. All right? Take a step back, look at your relationship, look at the way that you treat one another. Ladies, if you are in a relationship or you've ended a relationship and there are children involved, for fuck's sake, put the children first. It's not about you and it's not about him. You can hate each other as much as you want, but don't ever fucking use those kids to manipulate him or to extract more from him or to break him down. And it goes both ways. This is not a dig at women. This is not a dig at men. This is a dig at the fucking human race. Because right now, day in and day out, I see it on both sides of the coin and it's fucking pathetic. Take a step back. And start by looking at yourself and what you can do to be a better person and what you can do to make your partner's life better. Because if you're not in it to make your partner's life better, then you're in it for yourself and that's not a relationship. All right, that's the end of my rant for today, guys. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. I'll see you on the next video.